Voltube family, welcome back. Once again, Rosendo Rodriguez here in Houston, Texas at South Coast Welding Academy. Pretty hot today, so make sure you stay hydrated. All right, so for today, we're gonna be working on a 2G back grind, all right? This is gonna be a very educational video, okay? So stand by, all right? Ladies and gentlemen, so make sure that we're paying attention, okay? So we're gonna be doing a 2G back grind, all right? We're gonna be welding on a half inch plate. So first thing first, we gotta make sure that we remove all that metal skill. Have your plate nice and clean. So we gotta clean the backside, the front. We gotta clean our bevel, our wall. And we also have to put a 332 landing, all right? So all you gotta do is grab that grinder and remove that sharp edge. Make it flat, okay? Nice and flat. So a 332 landing. But how are we gonna make sure that it's a 332 uh, landing? We're gonna grab a 7018 332 stick rod, all right? And with the metal, we're gonna place it right on that landing, okay? So you gotta make sure that it gives you a 332, okay? That's how you're gonna make sure it is. All right, so once we are prepped, once we are cleaned, all right, we're gonna put two tacks, right? We're gonna put one tack on each corner, okay? So your plates are going to go just like this, all right, right next to each other. And we're going to put a tack on each corner. Very, very simple. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so now we're going to tack it. Remember, we're, we're going to put a tack right in this corner and the other tack here. All right, so we're going to start tacking it at 90 amps using 7018332. Small little tack. Don't spend too much time in there. Otherwise, you're going to put a hole in here. Remember, the, the edges is probably the, the weakest point of your, of your plate right now. Small little tack on each corner. Make sure it's nice and tight. Put your hand on there, just so it doesn't go anywhere. Small little tack on the corner. Boom. All right, let it cool down, then let go of it. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn it this way Push it against the pipe so you can close that gap. Remember, you don't want a, a gap in between. Now we're gonna tack it right here. All right, let it cool down, let it cool down. Perfect, now you can let go. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and grind these tacks, make them nice and flat, okay? Always work clean. Gentlemen, ladies, okay? So whenever we're grinding, we always wanna make sure we put some vice grips, some clamps. Hold your plate together, okay? Because once you start grinding, your plate is gonna be swinging back and forth and that's a little dangerous, okay? So make sure that you clamp it down so it doesn't move on you. Okay, so now we're gonna be doing a root pass, all right? We're gonna use 7018-332, and we're gonna be going at 90 amps, plus or minus. Okay, so the technique that we're gonna use, we're gonna be doing small little circles. We're gonna make sure we pause on the top, and we also push on the top, okay? So we're gonna pause for about two fast seconds, right? On the top and push. Whenever you go to the bottom, make sure that you feel the bottom wall. You gotta feel it on, your, on the tip of your stick rod, okay? So you're gonna go down, push for about a second, all right, and then go up, push for two seconds. Make sure you're always pushing. Watch that puddle build up. Do not rush it, there's no rush here. All right, that's gonna be our root pass. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and do a root pass, tiny little circles. Remember, pause on the top, push, and also go to the bottom and push, all right? Two seconds on the top, one second at the bottom. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, always be uh, comfortable. Make sure you're comfortable, prep yourself. Let me take it out. Go. Always push and remember that. Always watch your puddle. One, two, one. One, two, one. 
push, push, always push. All right, pop off. push always push watch that puddle all you got to do is watch that puddle grow all right follow the puddle that's it watch the puddle hit the top wall watch the puddle hit the bottom wall make sure you're always pushing no rush remember that i'm coming towards the end no rush remember that don't let the end rush you always feed So whenever you're done doing your root pass, all right, what you got to do, make sure that you grind down all your tines, right? If your tines are too, uh, too heavy, make sure you grind them down, make them nice and flat so you don't run into uh, any obstacles on your, your hot pass. So now we're going to do our hot pass and we're going to be using 7018 uh, 1 8, but we're going to be running at 130 amps plus or minus. So now on our hot pass, all right, we got to cover our root. So now we're going to do tiny little circles again, and we're going to hit wall to wall. Okay, keep them nice and tight. Watch your puddle. All right, go to the wall. Go down to the bottom wall. Make sure you're touching both. All right, tiny little circles, okay? We're going to slightly pause on the top. Make sure that your puddle is reaching all the way to the top, okay? No rush at all. Make sure you're always favoring the top. Remember that. Slightly point higher on the top. Watch that puddle, right? Make sure it's nice and even. All the way to the top. You're always pushing, remember. It's basically the same thing as a root pass, right? But now you're just burning a little bit hotter and more metal. Watch your puddle. Make sure it touches the top wall. Make sure it touches the bottom wall. Always pushing. There's no rush. Remember that. Up off. We just did a tie in. We're going to keep going just a little bit further. And then I'm going to stop. I'm going to leave it in sections so you can see all the steps that I'm doing. So on our next fill, okay, th this was our first fill. I stopped a little bit early so you can see my steps at the end. But now we're going to do our next fill. And our next fill, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get about three quarters of inside my well three quarters and I'm gonna come down all the way to my bottom bevel but I'm gonna be very careful of not passing my bottom bevel okay because I want to keep that line and I'm gonna use that that line that bevel as a guide so that whenever I cap it okay so I'm gonna get about three quarters all right of my well all the way to my bottom bevel make sure you don't pass it all right tiny little circles once again small little circles no rush Watch your puddle build up. Very simple. We're going to keep it at 130 amp. Look at my circles. Very, very small circles. Keep them nice and tight, all right? Let it build up. No rise. No rise. I'm also looking at the bottom puddle, part of the puddle. Remember that. Don't let it pass the bottom line. Now our next fill is gonna be very, very simple. Now I'm gonna look at my top bevel all right, this line right here, and I'm not gonna let my puddle pass that line, okay? So I'm gonna do small little circles. My circles are gonna be even smaller than that fill right here. So I'm gonna keep my circle, my puddle, all right? The top part of my puddle, I'm not gonna let it pass my top bevel, okay? Keep an eye on that. Make sure that you're coming down halfway of that fill that I just did, okay?
very small circles. It almost looks like I'm dragging it, but I'm actually doing little tiny circles. I'm always pushing. Pop off. All right, let's jump it. So there we have it. That was our fill. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and cap it. All right, so remember, we wanted to keep that bottom bevel because we're gonna use it as a guide so we can cap it. We're gonna follow that line. All right, so one thing that works very well, always grind your guideline, okay? So I'm gonna grind my line and I'm gonna grind it. All right, I'm gonna grind it right inside my weld next to my bottom bevel, okay? So that's gonna be my guide and I'm gonna grind a line right here next to my bottom bevel, okay? Make sure you stay inside your well. Now, after we grinded our line, so all we're gonna do is sign a little circles again, but now on our cap, what we're gonna do, we're gonna use half of our well, okay? So we're gonna go halfway of our well down to the bottom line that we grinded, okay? So all the way down, all the way to the middle, pause, all the way down, all the way to the middle, pause. Tiny little circles, okay? Do not over-saturate or any of that. Keep them nice and tight, nice and small. Let's go ahead and cap it. Boom. Boom, chakalaka. All right, so once we're done with our first cap, we're gonna go ahead and grind a line right above that first cap, right next to it. And all we're gonna do on our second cap, all right, we're gonna be very careful with our top bevel. We're gonna hit the very edge of our top bevel and we're gonna touch the bottom line that we grind. Very, very small circles. We have to stay inside the well because our last cap, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna drag it. All right, so let's go ahead and do our last cap. We're gonna grind again right above that cap. So on our last cap, what we're gonna do the puddle, we're gonna drag into that line that we made, okay? So our puddle is gonna stay inside that line. All right, very simple. All we gotta do is drag it all the way across. Now we're gonna do the back grind. First thing first, we have to break it from position, put it on the table, and we're gonna do the back. We're gonna grind the back, and we have to go a one eighth deep in that little uh, valley right here. All right, right where the two plates meet up, that's where we have to grind a one eighth deep and about a three sixteenths wide. So all we're gonna do, how are we gonna measure it? We're gonna grab a one eighth, all right? A 70, 18, one eighth, and we're gonna use the metal side, and we're gonna go in one eighth deep, and then flip it around, and make sure that the flux of the stick rod fits in there, right? So that's gonna be about a 3 sixteenths inside. All we're gonna do is go sideways, just like that, and we're gonna make it wider to a 3 sixteenths. There we have it. So we have a 3 sixteenths uh, width. Now if you look at it, my 70, 18, 1 eighth fits in there per perfectly. So that's about a 3 16. So now let's go ahead and tack it into position. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna do the back grind. Once you are done grinding 1 8 deep, 3 16 wide, we're gonna place it back into position. Now we're gonna do a fill, only a fill in a cap. The root is on the other side. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a small little pass, small little fill, and we're gonna stay inside our bevels. All right, we're gonna go to the top bevel to the bottom bevel. Small little circles, keep it nice and tight all the way across, and then we're gonna cap it. Keep it nice and tight, let it build up on you. Remember, we're using 7018-18 all the way. The only time we were using 7018-332 was on our root. And the rest is all 1-8. Remember that we're going to stay at our amps at 130, 130 plus or minus. 
All, right, all, you're, all you're doing right now is just watching your puddle. Make sure your puddle is not passing the top bevel or passing the bottom bevel. Keep it nice and tight. Nice and tight. Make sure you go all the way across. I'm going to stop a little early so you can see my steps. Boom. Pop off. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna do our cap now. All right, our procedure is the same, same way as the front. We're gonna grind a line right above our bottom bevel, keep it inside your well. Very simple. All right, first cap that we're gonna do, we're gonna do small little circles, and I'm gonna look at my puddle, and I'm gonna make sure I don't pass my top bevel. So I'm gonna do little circles, go to the top wall, to the top bevel, come down to the bottom line. Make sure that you touch that bottom bevel, that new line that you made all the way to the bottom, all the way through. Because our last cap is just a drag, very simple. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna do our last cap. Remember, grind that line right above that first cap, and all we're gonna do is keep our circle inside that valley, that grind line. All we're gonna do is drag it, nice and slow. Make sure that puddle is in that line. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so there we have it. We just finished a 2G back grind. Now you're gonna see this, uh, this type of weld in, in structural welding a lot, especially when you go test. So they're probably gonna ask, for a two, uh, ask you for a 2G back grind. It's very simple, just, just uh, take your time on it. Remember, put a, a 332 landing, keep it nice and clean. Clean that pipe, that plate, uh, clean everything, all right? Every pass that you do, every pass you do, check it. You know, make sure there's no trash, make sure there's no porosity or any of that. Clean wells, right, all the way through. So we used on our root pass, we used what? 7018 332. We went at 90 amps. After our root, we did hot filling cap. And that's when we used 7018 1/8, and we kept that at 130 plus or minus all the way through, all the way till we finished, okay? Now look, if you're doing your cap and you see that you're getting a lot of undercut on top, well, hey, go ahead and throw another bead. Put another bead over it, or, or on top of it, I'm sorry, right next to it. Um, but if you're getting undercut, you probably don't want to use a 7018 1 because you're, you're going pretty hot. So why not use a 7018 332 and bring down your amperage to 90, okay? That's going to help you with your undercut. Let that plate cool down, all right? That's also very important. But uh, yeah, do that, and I'm sure it's going to look good. So there you have it. Hopefully this, this helped you guys out. You know, it's, it's uh, an educational video. If you guys have any questions, you can always get with me, right? Uh, give me a, send me a message, comment, uh, ask me questions, because I'm here to help you guys out, okay? Remember, I want you to succeed. I want you to pass that test, right, for structural welding. So remember, subscribe, comment, like, all right? Stay tuned for our next video, all right? These are great videos. They'll help you out a lot. See you guys soon. Oorah!